Good, happy Monday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your news, weather, and traffic update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started. First up, charges dismissed against stepfather accused of killing Selena Cass. Charges were dismissed Monday against a man accused of killing his stepdaughter in West Stewartstown more than five years ago. Window Noise has charged was charged with second degree murder in the 2011 death of his 11 year old daughter, Selena, stepdaughter Selena Cass. The court ruled Monday that Noyes is not competent to stand trial and is not considered restorable, which means he won't be considered competent within the next year. Charges may be brought against Noyes in this case in the future if he is found competent. Noyes was arrested last June at the state Physiatry Hospital, where he had been staying for about six months after being found incompetent to stand trial in a different case. After the arrest, Noyes was moved to jail in West Stewartstown. He will now be moved back to the State Physiatry Hospital indefinitely. Captured fugitive murder suspect is back in Massachusetts. The second suspect in a double murder in Peabody has returned to Massachusetts. Wheeze Daughtry was captured Friday in South Carolina. He was transported to the custody of Massachusetts officials Monday morning. Daughtry was escorted off a plane at Logan Airport by state police just before 5 p.m. Daughtry was wanted in connection with the murders of Jennifer O'Connor and Mark Greenlaw, who were found dead February 18th in a home on Farm Avenue in Peabody. He is also the suspect in a carjacking Wednesday night in Middletown in which he drove the victim to Boston. The char carjacking victim said during the trip, Daughtry told the victim he killed a couple because they gave heroin to his godfather. Daughtry was arrested while panhandling in the parking lot of a fast food restaurant along Highway 9 in Spartanboro, South Carolina. The vehicle stolen in the carjacking was recovered in a parking lot nearby. Another suspect in the murders, Michael Hebb, was ordered held without bail on Tuesday. Daughtry is scheduled to be arraigned on two counts of first-degree murder in Peabody District Court on Tuesday, according to the Sussex District Attorney's Office. Report of Man with Gun Props Lockdown in Gorham. Let's take a listen to this video from WMTW, Kyle Jones. Stop daily hair damage even before it happens. Dove proves it is. With these two delicate roses, one rose is treated with Dove. When exposed to the same level of damaging heat, the difference is clear. The rose not treated with Dove is dry and brittle. Dove fortifies by nourishing deeply and stops 90% of daily hair damage before it happens. Dove Intensive Repair. search for a man with a rifle, but in the end, he couldn't be found. There's no report of a specific threat. Um, 
Just somebody with a rifle. Gorham police getting a call just after 10 this morning for a man in camo walking around with a rifle. Good news of this is we only got a report from one person. This isn't, you know, mobile people didn't see this. The chief saying teams were still responding appropriately. We did lock the doors. Um, you know, I, I made sure that my customers were, you know, safe and good. Local businesses going into lockdown as well as area schools. So initially we weren't sure what was going on, so it was a full lockdown, uh, but that only lasted for maybe about 10 minutes. Superintendent Heather Perry crediting the police for keeping the schools aware of what's happening, allowing them to scale back to a soft lockdown as the search continued. Officials eventually calling off the search just before 1230. There was no sign that they were even outside anywhere. We checked the, the snow. There were no tracks in the snow. Again, no other indications that there was actually somebody there. Still, people here happy about how things turned out. I feel good about um, how quickly the responders handle things. Team saying that, of course, it's better to be safe than sorry. In Gorham, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8. Okay, and there you go on that report. Markets are beginning to brace for March Fed rate hike. Just as Washington is gearing up to goose the economy, the Federal Reserves could be teeing up an interest rate increase that could put a damper on things. How best park picture Oscar Sunfa unfolded. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. This is the biggest secret I currently possess. So I'm going to go explain to them what this is. So cool. Kind of like a gift for the fans. We lost, by the way, but, you know. Guys, guys, I'm sorry. No, this, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Moonlight, Best Picture. But anyway. Oh, it's fine. I'm sorry. Guys, this is uh, very unfortunate what happened. Personally, I blame Steve Harvey for this. I would like to see you get an Oscar anyway. Why can't we just give I, out a whole bunch I, of I, them? I'm going to be really proud to hand this to my friends from Moonlight. That's yeah. nice of you. That's very nice. Come on. Uh, Hello, hello. I, I want. Warren, what did you do? I want to tell you what happened. I opened the envelope, and it said, "Emma Stone, La La Land." That's why I took such a long look at Faye, and at you. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> Well, you were funny. That Thank was you very, very much. Nice. Thank yeah. you very much. Wow, this is... This um, is Moonlight, the best picture. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, and there you go on that report. And now let's turn things to the weather now. Your weather for tonight, increasing clouds, lows in the lower 30s. For tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies with a passing shower possible, highs near the 50s. For Tuesday night, cloudy with some showers, lows in the lower 40s. And now let's take a look at your traffic. And here's a quick look at your traffic right now. Your traffic right now. We're seeing a lot of green roadways and we have a few yellow spots and a few tiny red spots as well. 
Otherwise, your traffic is moving pretty good on your Monday evening. And that's it for your news, weather, and traffic update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Have a great rest of your Monday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.